everybody, it's Chasey Poo, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for a company that I talk shit about. Ooh, what? So a couple of months ago, I actually made a video showing a prosthetic that somebody had sent me, that they had ordered a prosthetic from a company, and they did not receive what they bought. They received something that, like, was like reddish and I'll just put a picture of the screenshot here and yeah, you can see that. So anyways, the company contacts me and I was really nervous. I was like, ooh, am I gonna get sued? Is this slander? Like, I'm just showing a prosthetic that was sent to them. I'm like reviewing it. I don't know. The company tells me it was absolutely a mistake. They actually contacted the person and gave them a refund and I actually talked to the person to make sure that that did happen and it did happen. The company apologized and they're like, we don't know what happened. We don't know why the product actually looks like that. None of the products we've ever sent out look like that. Again, I'm still skeptical. They said, we'll send you some prosthetics so that you could show what we actually send versus what the person had, just so you can do a, a comparison and side by side. They also wanted to send me some other prosthetics that they have just so I can show the different variety that this website has. I honestly thought that they just wanted me to take the video down, but apparently their website got lots of views because of my video and some sales. And I think that, okay, I have no real opinions about that. <laughs> So basically I talked to the company, they decided to send me some peens. I have them all right here, Ugh. right here to open up. And I will do a small comparison in this video of the original prosthetic versus what they sent me. Now the argument can be made, maybe they're making the prosthetic way better than what they send out to me because they know I'm gonna make a video about it. And yeah, that is a possibility and something that we do need to think about, but I want everyone to understand that I think about that all the time, and every single prosthetics company could be doing that, right? And I'm not like calling names or saying that companies are doing that, but like Transthetics could be doing that, Peacock could be doing that, Banana Prosthetics, I don't know. They know that they're gonna send it to me so that I can review it. So all I can do is show you the prosthetics and give you all the information that's out there in an unbiased way. There are people who have commented that they've had bad experiences with Peacock. I never delete those comments. I actually pin those comments to the top of the comment section so that people people know that, hey, there are people who don't have great experiences with them. So that's what I'm doing with this company. I wanna show both sides. So I wanna show what somebody received that they are saying is not usually what they send out versus what they've sent me. And then if you've ever had experiences with this company, you can put it in the comments below. And again, I won't delete anything. This is literally completely unbiased. I just want everyone to see what they have to offer. So without further ado, I don't even know if I said the name of the company, but it's ftmshopping.it. Very important that this is the Italy version of it because there is a US one and like I don't want to start it and I don't even know if they're still active but let's not even go there. So this is the Italy version, all right? So let's open up the boxes and see what we got. Okay, so here's the thing. People usually want to know what the customs form says, right, from a company. I live in the US right now and this company is from Italy. So what did it say? So on the description it says prosthetic prosthesis in latex not for resale, sample. Now again, that could just be something that they wrote for me uh, because they know that I'm just gonna be reviewing it. But I wanna tell you a little story. UPS called me and said, we need to know if this is a medical prosthetic and what you're gonna use it for. And I was like, what? So I emailed them, I'm like, what's going on? They're like, oh, your package is held at a customs. It's not, I have it in my living room. And we need you to tell us what it's used for. I'm just like, so inappropriate like that's so I've n I haven't gotten packages all over the world from Russia from Brazil Indonesia like from all over the place never have had this happen so I think that that's just a straight I don't know why that ha I don't think it's trans related but I just like a little I don't know why that happened okay interesting box over here thank you for choosing us let's see okay Warning, we offer replacements for defective pro- There's an anti-tamper system that they've got going. LOL at their motto. Oh my god. <laughs> Some men are born lucky. Others have to build their fortune. This is why homo faber fortune say is our motto. I'm gonna guess that's something in Italian that I butchered. My bad. All right, so this is the David. All right, so this is their like anti-theft, anti-seal, whatever it's called, mechanism. All right, so I believe this is the David, and I did ask them to send me their darkest shade because I wanna be able to show that they have darker shades. And I wanna say I am pretty impressed because some companies that say they have a dark shade, not so dark at all. So let me just show you, this is a David. I believe that's what they, and the skin does move. The inside does have like a firm, like, ooh, you can feel some veins in here, and it is very, very firm. Oh. That sound, though! <laughs> I 
All right, I'm impressed. <laughs> wow. Wow, I could just play with this thing all day long. Interesting. And obviously these aren't like huge companies that manufacture things, so there's gonna be like little defects on them. Uh, it's very it's very hard though, I'll tell you, like the silicone, whatever they're using inside, very, very hard. And yeah, I would just say for sex, yeah, don't pack with this. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want. Woo, okay, yeah. Also the point of this unboxing is so that you can ask questions in the comments below, and then when I do the reviews of the actual products, I answer your questions. So this is David, ask your questions away for David. All right, so I want everyone to remember that this was the Hector that was sent to me from somebody that ordered that. That's why I made the video, okay? This is what it looked like. There's like red on the bottom. Uh, the foreskin doesn't really move. It's very, you see what I'm saying? Like it's very thick, it doesn't really move. And you can't like go in there and like add more lube or anything like that to like actually make it go. And it's very hard. There is a skeleton in there and the balls are not movable, just the skin on the balls are. So they actually sent me the version that it's supposed to look like. So this is actually what the Hector is supposed to look like. So as you can see, there is actually a big difference. This one's bigger, they just sent me a bigger one. But there is a difference. Now there's no like red paint underneath. And then here you go. I will make a detailed video showing the one that was sent to me from somebody versus the one that the company sent to me. But this is to show you what Hector looks like. This is the Hector with the uh, exoskeleton. So in here, there is a skull. It's just one of those like Barbie leg looking things, but this is, it's, it has some weight on it. Now the, the real, let's see, the real test. That sound. Ooh, you know, let me tell you something. This here actually feels very realistic. Don't look at it, okay? That's what I'm gonna say. If you look at it, it doesn't, like it looks realistic, but you can tell that there's like some things that are off that aren't like very realistic to like a peen. But if you close your eyes and you actually do it, don't listen to it either. It feels very realistic that the skin actually moves and you can feel the head, the hard head, it actually does feel really good. So very interesting. This is the Hector with the skeleton and the balls don't move, but the skin around the balls do move. And then this is what the back looks like. They might've changed the back because the back of the one that I was a little bit different. So very interesting. Okay, very interesting. They also sent me the Hector three in one. So this one is actually an STP and you can use it for sex and you have a rod. Jesus, is this the is this a dilator? Okay, I would say put some lube on this and then you can put that in there because there's no way I'm getting that in there right now. So we'll save that for the video, for the review. So again, oh yeah, okay, skin moves. Ah, this technology is very interesting. Why is it sound like this? I just want to be real. I'm just being real. No shade to the company, but she's wet. <laughs> So STP, this is the, the Hector STP. I'll like n number them all when I'm editing this video. Alrighty, the next one is the Golia. Golia? I'm probably saying that wrong, but this is a super squishy packer. So first of all, this is what it looks like right here. Okay, I think it's just their thing that they do this type of paint job. I think that I'm so used to like how American companies like color their prosthetics that I'm not used to other places how they color their prosthetics. So it's very interesting because they do put lots of detail in their prosthetics. But if we compare this to like real magic, it does definitely look different. Let me just tell you that the veins here, like you can see the vein, it, the color moves, but the vein is still there. Like the vein is in the like the skeleton. What is that blue thing? The vein? What is that? Do they use blue silicone? Oh, even the packer moves. Oh my God, ooh. Okay, very interesting. Ooh, leaky skin. <laughs> All right, and the next one that I have is the, again, the Golia, but this version is an STP and has this dilator thing, this rod that you can put in so that you can have sex. So we'll keep that for the review, but again, this one does have that technology. So I'm gonna guess that all of their peens have this like 
extra skin layer on top that is supposed to move. I don't know what's in between the silicone layers. I'm very like suspicious because why don't other companies do this? What did they figure out? As like a first step for me to like be introduced to this company again, I guess, it's very interesting and it would be really cool to see how they would not fix it but like make it better in the future because this technology could be like really big for a lot of people. Okay, again, balls like levitate. <laughs> You can see through the balls where the lights are. You probably can't see that, no, but ooh. All right, very, very interesting to me. Uh, I will see how these kind of hold up because the one that was sent to me from somebody is, is a little bit hard and the skin doesn't really move that much. So I'm gonna wait a little bit before I do the review of the Hector at least so that I can tell you if it does, if like the silicone inside or whatever ingredients they're using to make the peen, if it stays hard or if it gets harder for some reason and if it's harder for the skin to move. Because this, like I'm telling you, this is, does this, this is like I have trouble making it flow as good as this one. So I think that that might be something really worth noting. So I'm gonna wait a little bit before I review this one and just see what happens. Again, I will comment though, and it's no shade or anything like that. Somebody just walked by the window while I'm holding this gigantic wiener. But that brings me to my point. Do people in Italy have big dicks? Because even as a soft packer that you're just packing, this is pretty big. Like if we're comparing it to other ones, like this is the classic Mr. Limpy. Like this is a perfect packer for somebody just testing out the water. It's big. So I'm thinking that we have this idea of packing small in North America and maybe in Europe they like to pack big. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. I keep touching these veins and it feels wrong, but it's very, very interesting. Oh, just slap it. Ah! I'm done. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. All right, so I'm super happy that the person who sent it to me contacted me and sent me the peen, honestly, and that I'm glad I made the video. I'm also really glad that the company contacted me because that, to me, somehow shows me that they're not hiding something. All right, I know that they sent me these prosthetics and things like that. However, let me tell you something. I did make a video about another company that was like super scammy. The person like never contacted me. They like tried to make me get my video taken down. I'm like, you're straight up scamming people and taking their money. So that to me is much more suspicious behavior than a company being like, hey, I wanna talk to you. I actually have no idea what happened. Let me send you some other prosthetics. And I know that it does look suspicious because I'm even skeptical. Like, is this what everyone else gets? but that's why I wanna see in the comments if you've had experience with FTM shopping, the Italy one specifically, if you've had issues with them or if you've had good experiences with them. I wanna be as unbiased as I possibly can and like provide you all the information of these companies so that you can either love the companies or completely avoid them. So I guess that's the whole point. It looks a little weird and off, I guess, but I just wanna make it super clear that I just trying to like be unbiased and showcase some of the products because it's a trans company and I wanna give them the benefit of the doubt because we need to support our like trans family. And also the other company that I'm talking about that was like super scammy is not trans owned. So that's like even worse and more suspicious. I don't know. Anyways, I'm done. This was a long enough video. Uh, put it in the comments below the comments that you want to see the questions answered about these peens so when I review them you actually get like the answers that you're looking for. All right, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to your feedback in the comments below. Have a great day. Bye.